Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we're going to start designing this home page right here. And we also have some hover effects over here. So when I hover over these buttons, we can see that it moves up. And we also have hover effects for these icons and also these menu icons. And then we also have a mobile version for this home page. So this is how the mobile version looks. Alright, so this is what we're going to design in a series of videos from now on. Now in this first video, we will just add the HTML of uh, this website. And then from the next videos, we will add CSS and add styling to all these elements. So let's get started. Alright, I have opened this folder called responsive homepage inside Visual Studio Code. And I also have this folder over here in which we have all these images. So these images are going to be used in our website. I will leave the link of these images in the description of this video so you can just download it and follow along. So first of all let's create an HTML file so I'll just click on new file and I'll just type index.html and we also need a CSS file so I'll just click on new file and we'll just name it style.css. Right, let's start with the HTML file so here in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML file code. And here let me just link my CSS file. So I'll just type link. And in the href I'll just type style.css. Alright, now let's go to our design. And uh, the first thing we'll add is this image right here. So let's create a division with the class of BG left. And in that we'll just create an IMG tag. And I'll just type images slash. And I have named the image bgleft.svg. So let's open this in a browser and see whether it is being displayed. So I have this extension called Live Server installed on VS Code. So you can just go ahead and install it. Once you install it, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. And we can see that our design is being displayed in the browser. Now whenever you save this HTML file, the browser will be refreshed. All right now let's go back to our design and here you can see we have all these elements inside a set width. So we can see that we have a maximum width for these elements except for this sidebar over here. So what we'll do is we'll create a container division to hold everything. So after this BG left, let's create a division and we'll just give it a class of container. And the first thing we will have over here is the logo. So let's create a division with a class of logo. And in the logo, we just have this letter W written. So let's type that over here. And here we can see our logo is being displayed over here at the bottom. Now the next thing we will do is we'll create a division to hold all these elements over here. So we will have this left part of our website in a division called left and this right part of the website which is the image in a division with a class of right. So for that let's create a division and we'll just create a container division and we'll just give it a class of hero container. And in that we'll have left and also a division with a class of right. Now in the left division we'll have a division with a class of hero text to hold this text and these buttons. So let's create a division with the class of hero text. And in that we need to have an H1 and uh, we'll just type web design course. So here we can see we have the heading and then we need to have a subheading. So let's go back to our design and let's just copy this. And uh, here let's create a paragraph and we'll just give it a class of subheading and we'll just paste the text over here. Next we need to have two buttons. So for that we'll just create anchor tags. So let's type anchor tag. And for the href I'll just type hash for now. And for the first button we have this text watch demo. So I'll just type that over here. And I'll just duplicate this and uh, the next button is called enroll now. So we have these two buttons over here. Now let's create a division to hold these social media icons. Let's get outside this hero text division. And we'll just create a division with a class of social. And we'll just have anchor tags. And in the anchor tags, we will have the images. So I'll just type IMG. And I have saved the images as facebook-logo.svg. And we also need to have Twitter and YouTube. So all these images are inside this images folder over here. So let's just copy this and paste it two more times. And here we'll just type Twitter. And here we'll just type YouTube. Right, so all the logos are being displayed over here. Now let's create the right side of our website. So here we have this image and we also have this background shape over here. Now for that we'll just create a division and we'll style it using CSS. So let's go back over here and inside the right division. 
let's create a division with the class of hero image and in that we'll have an img tag and here I'll just type images slash hero image dot png and we'll also create a division for the shape so we'll just create a division with the class of image bg and here we can see the image is being displayed the next thing we'll do is we'll create divisions for these colors that we see over here behind the image we're gonna have three divisions for that and we will add some CSS to make it look like this now we'll just create a division with the class of bg right for all these uh, divisions so let's go outside all these divisions so we'll just go outside the hero container so outside this hero container let's create a division with the class of bg right and we'll just create three divisions with the class circle 1, circle 2 and circle 3. Now the last thing we need to add is the sidebar. So let's go outside this container because we don't want the sidebar to be inside the container. So we'll just go outside this container division and let's create an aside and we'll just give it a class of sidebar and in that we'll have a division with the class of menu icons and in the menu icons we will have anchor tags and in the anchor tags we will have the images so let's type img and images slash and the first icon is the home icon so let's type home icon dot svg and uh, we have four icons over here so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it three more times and then we have the gift icon and then we have the contact icon and then the code icon so here you can see all the icons are being displayed over here at the bottom. We cannot see the icons clearly because they are light in color. Alright, so I think that's it with the HTML of our website. Now from the next video, we will start designing this using CSS. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.